Before I didn't like cassava, but now that I know this recipe, I can't stop making it. It's economical and easy to make. We'll start our recipe today by cutting the root of two cassava or manioc units. Tell me what they call it in your country. And then we'll cut it into large pieces, it doesn't matter if they're not the same size. Then, we'll put the cut cassava in a large pot, cover it with enough water, and add a teaspoon of salt. Cover and cook for about 5 minutes on high heat, or until the cassava is soft. When it's ready, we'll put it in a large bowl, and with the help of a fork, we'll mash it. Leave me in the comments if this is the first time you've seen one of my recipes, and if you think it's easy to make. It's important to do this while it's hot so that it can be handled much more easily. Afterwards, we'll add a tablespoon of cornstarch or corn flour, and also a tablespoon of butter. Today we greet Luisa Romero, who writes to us from Caracas, Venezuela. Then, sprinkle a tablespoon of garlic powder on top. Tell me if this is the first time you've seen one of my recipes, and what you think so far. And to finish seasoning, we'll add a pinch of salt and pepper to taste. Did you know that cassava is very easy to digest and regulates intestinal transit? When you consume it, you avoid heavy digestions, especially for people who have problems with gastritis, colitis, ulcers and heartburn. Then, we'll mix everything very well until all the ingredients are evenly integrated. And then, in a pot we will preheat enough oil to fry. You can also skip this step if you prefer to use your air fryer, so they will be much healthier. Tell me in the comments from which country you are watching us, so that I can send you a special greeting in my next video. And in the meantime, we're going to grate 50 grams of mozzarella cheese on the finest part of our grater. Then we'll take some of the cassava mixture we made and fill it with grated mozzarella cheese like I'm doing. And with our hands we're going to mold it until it's completely sealed to prevent the cheese from coming out. It should look something like this. Once the oil is hot, we'll take our stuffed fritters to the pot to fry them and cook until golden on both sides.
And once ready, with the help of tongs we will remove them from the heat carefully. We will place them on absorbent paper to remove excess oil for a few minutes. And now you can enjoy some super crispy cassava fritters. They are delicious and can be accompanied by any sauce you prefer. They are also perfect for any time of day. Remember that if you like this recipe, you can subscribe to our Facebook page where you can find easy and economical recipes every day. Until next recipe, bye.